sorry about the noise. I just started trimming trees and I sat down. The nature is too beautiful. <clears throat> just got back from a walk. Hello, you guys. I have not posted in a long time. Here I am to say hello. Good morning. Good late morning. Here in California, it's almost 11 o'clock where I am. But I get up every morning between 4.30 and 5 o'clock because I have animals. And I still have adult uh, kids. And we all take care of each other. We get ready for work and etc. Our big, beautiful golden retriever keeper crossed the Rainbow Bridge in February before his birthday. He's going to be eight. Too young. Too young. Uh, if you guys will notice, big dogs are dying a lot sooner. Sooner and sooner than they should. I do believe uh, because they are pure spirit, they're close to source, closer than we are. They don't have all of life's things that get in the way. They're a straight source. They tend to take on everything. And if they are a family pet, they're going to uh, also do this to protect you. Just remember that. And it's going to leave behind things that can hurt them or kill them. And this was Keeper. And anyway, the day that he went, I heard the stroke. So I haven't been on social media. I haven't wanted to. I need a time. The winds have been insane lately. A week ago, we had temperatures in the 90s. Now they're in the 60s and 50s. Got my little dog, Eddie, over here. Anyway, Keeper was the best body pillow in the whole world, though he didn't like to cuddle. He was big and cuddly, but he didn't like to cuddle. <laughs> It was a hard one, and we still have our moments. We know why he came. We know why he chose to come and be with us, his family, why he picked us. And we will be forever grateful. So. Mm as a sign. So realize that just because they have fur or they have wings doesn't make them different from you per se. Physically, yes. 
but we're all connected and we all come from source. We all come from God. <clears throat> I wanted to say that if you don't watch Infinite Waters with Ralph Smart, you should. He did an excellent video yesterday about being grateful. And I've been writing in my journal a lot more. And so, especially before I go to bed, I write all my gratefulness, uh, my prayers, I write them out. I might even say them as I write them out into my journal. And when I go to sleep, they're in here, they're in here. And I get up every morning, I write my dreams and I begin each day with gratefulness and thankfulness. As a young girl, I wrote, I can remember at the age of 13, I'd come home from school and write. Life got in the way, marriage and family came along, it was something that I put aside, but I started again, this is another thing you should do if you don't, I don't mean to use the word should, it would be good for you to, it would make you feel good, it will open up your heart. Write everything you're grateful for. Carry that with you and the universe will provide you with a lot more of it or better. And I've learned all this because I've come so far and all that I've endured and what I've lived and the passing of my big, beautiful dog caused me to really think about life and what is important and what it all means. <clears throat> and whether or not I want to be, I want to do YouTubes. Um, you know, I know I posted quite a few for a while about gratefulness and about being happy and always waiting for that perfect moment to be happy. Well, I realize that's not everyone's reality. Not everyone is happy all the time. And that's okay. Talk about it. Let it out. Speak. Speak it out. Get it out. And get rid of it. <laughs> um, if it's sad, if it's heartbreak, if it's you know, whatever, whatever is on your mind, speak it out. But share it if you need to. But life's moments help you to think about a lot of things. And his death made me re-examine my life and what is important. And I realized that there's no one more important than me my relationship with God and I realize all of my blessings and all of the things that I have are because of my relationship with God because I believe in miracles and I do not believe that everything that that I do believe in deliberately living your life I, I don't believe that in anything just happens it's because I am intentionally living my life because there was a time that I didn't. Marriage was one of them. And now I realize how important I am. And if I be good to myself, then I'm open and loving and accepting. 
and what I give my attention to and my focus to is what I'm going to get more of. So I try to make it positive. I try not to dwell on things that will make me sad or unhappy. And I don't watch the fake media on television. I don't do it. Because it won't do me any good. It doesn't do anyone any good. It is a way to me to distract you. Distract you from what is real. And what is real is who you are and what you have around you. Because we create what is around us. Ooh, it was 11, 11 on the clock. That's a divine sign. So, if you don't get outside, get outside. Write in your journals. Get real with yourself. Live from your heart space as much as possible. Be real. Be who you are. Honor yourself. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Don't say anything that you don't mean. Just don't because it has a way of blowing up in your face. It doesn't work. That statement of fake it till you make it is a bunch of... Mm -mm. No. It doesn't work. Be who you are. Honor who you are. Getting out in nature helps me do that. magical if you have something to say say it if you want to do a YouTube to do it do it and if you don't write it in your journal or do both so I'm thinking I'm thinking whether or not I want to continue doing YouTubes I kind of have discontinued my Instagram because somebody made a point of saying I want to say who that somebody is. Elon Musk talked about why he dropped his Instagram and he said because it's filled with fake people. Um, people that want to make you think they're living the perfect life. Nobody lives a perfect life. There really is no such thing. It's, it's a place for candid shots for happy moments in time. That's exactly what it's for. And um, being that my family and I live the Young Living lifestyle, we use all of the products. I was using it to promote my uh, Young Living. And while those feelings were exuberant and wonderful and genuine, I mean, every day trying to reinvent the wheel with an oil got exhausting. It mentally did. And uh, believe me, my dog's death made me, it helped me to think, helped me to think correctly. It put my things into perspective, my life, my, my focus, my things that I was thinking about. Big birds. So. I must go. I think that's a sign. Oh. So if I can leave you with anything. It is that. I must go. And be real with yourself. Be real with how you live your life. And live it intentionally. No matter what you do. Try to live without hurting anybody. Um, realize that you 
are a part of everything that you co-create with, that you are in concert with. There's no room for blame. You must look at the role you play. We work off of each other. Your world is right here. Right here. Not on the boob tube. Turn it off. Say your prayers, say your blessings. Always come from a grateful heart. If you can be anything, be kind, be generous, and be loving. Peace, guys.